so much for your address today. Um, so you talked a little bit about immigration and in the past you've talked about how uh, white Australians, Americans, Europeans are being replaced by non-white immigrants in what is often referred to as the great replacement theory. This is the same- Have, have I said that whites are being replaced? Well- I don't, I don't think I said that. Well, it's been mentioned on your show 4,000 times and- Really, it, when did I say that? On your, on your I said show whites are being replaced? You have said that before. Really? Yeah. I, I, I would challenge you to cite that because I'm pretty sure I haven't said that. I said native-born I mean, native Americans have, are being replaced, including blacks. Native-born Americans. Native-born Americans. And Americans who, like black Americans have been, African Americans have been in the United States for, in many cases, their families over 400 years. And their concerns are every bit as real and valid and alive to me as the concerns of white people whose families have been there 400 years. So I, I've never said that whites are being replaced. Not one time, and I you can't cite that's it. Untrue. So, um, I'm so we, we just met, but when our relationship starts with a lie, it makes it tough to be friends. So well, let's, I mean, you've been let, lying let's about pull that back. I'm happy to explain what I do well, think. So. Um, well, you actually can't cite it because I didn't say it, and I don't believe it. And I'm telling you that to your face, so why don't you just accept me at face value? My well, concern is that the people who are born in the country are the main responsibility of its leaders. And as noted earlier, when those leaders shift their concern from the people whose responsibility it is to take care of, to people around the world to put their priorities above that of their own citizens, that's immoral. And they are being replaced in my country, people who were born in the United States, and the birth rate tells the whole story. They are not at replacement rate. And so the US population is growing because we're importing people from other countries. And my view is that happy people have children and a functioning economy allows them to do that. And we don't have that. And so you need to fix the economy and fix the culture and make it so that people who wanna have kids can. You don't just go for the quick sugar fix of importing new people. Like, that's my position. And if you think that's racist, that's your problem. I never but, called you a racist. Um, but, but, of course you, but of course you are suggesting, and well, I, must, I must say one of the reasons people, people don't like people like you in the media is that you never say exactly what you mean. Your slurs are all by implication, and you're about to tell me the great replacement theory is racist or anti-Semitic, whatever. I, I've said what I've said to you right now like a hundred times in public. I hope to, if I live long enough, say it a hundred more times. I think it's completely honest and real, <laughs> not racist or <laughs> scary. It's factually true. It's not a theory, it's a fact. And your, the whole point of your question was to be like, you're a scary racist. Well, I haven't and my response my is, no, I'm not. Okay, well, uh, how about no more lying in your questions and then I'll answer it. Okay, well. Um, this is the same theory, or as you say, idea, that has inspired the New York Buffalo shooting where oh 11 God, black Americans come were killed. Oh, God, Two you know white I mean? Americans were killed. Like, and it's also okay, inspired... My, it, the, it's not, first of all... It's inspired the worst, the, one of the worst Australian guns of all time to shoot... How do they get people this stupid in, in the media? I guess it doesn't pay well. <laughs> <laughs>